Good evening. Are you hosting a Halloween party this year for goblins, ghouls, and witches? If so, then Riddle Me is your ticket to success. If you're not familiar with Riddle Me, Riddle Me has over 5,000 riddles and 400 objects in its database and allows you to print out clues that are age appropriate anywhere from three years old and up. You take the clue sheet that prints out like this and you cut out the individual clues and it will tell you at the top, tape this to the washing machine, to the microwave, your swing set. Um, wherever the, the clues go, you can then chain those clues together so that at each location they pick up the clue that leads them to the next place. The clues can be themed, so we've got a database of uh, dozens of different clip art pictures, including some for Halloween, or you can add your own background image into the uh, activity as well. If you want to have teams, you can have clues that print out with different backgrounds and have each team find only the clues that have that background. So now it's Halloween, and you want to do something fun, something different uh, that hasn't been part of your Halloween uh, experience maybe in the past. And so with Riddle Me, there's lots of things that you can do. Uh, for example, one type of hunt, you could do a search for the great pumpkin. You could get these little pumpkins. These are cute. The kids love them. You could either put candy in them and have them at each of the clue locations, and they take a piece of candy out and put into a sack of their own. Uh, and so at each location along the way, they, they're gathering some candy. And then maybe at the end of the hunt, you have pumpkins for them to carve. So their search for the great pumpkin ends with them carving a pumpkin and putting it out on your porch as a jack-o'-lantern. Another type of activity you could do is use some props around your house. You know, little skulls or like these spiders up here. You could take and put these clue sheets with a spider at each location, just tape them up so that they kind of get into the spirit of uh, Halloween and um, follow through on that hunt and just have a, a fun, spooky hunt. Uh, a third idea would be to take your Halloween decorations and instead of just getting that box out and start passing them out and hanging them up, you could take some of the decorations and put them at each of the clue locations. And every time your children find one of the clue locations with some decorations, they go hang those up then. And then they still have their the clue card that they just found, and that takes them to where the next decoration is. And so they can go through the house and, you know, in a short period of time, uh, they've found all the decorations and hung them up, and they've had a fun time doing it as well. So those are a few ideas. It really, you know, creating any kind of activity with a, a program like this is only limited by your creativity. This is a, a great tool. It can be used over and over again. It's got a huge database that you can pull from, so each activity is different, and the kids love it. In fact, we guarantee it. If your kids don't have a great time with the program, we'll refund your money. So you you have no risk, and that's no trick. So, happy spooking.